Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Hummingbird, which was released in America as Redemption. This movie tells the story of a former British serviceman who is homeless and on the run from a military court-martial. Damaged by his experiences and living under the heel of society, he seizes an opportunity to assume another man's identity and tries to transform himself into something better. Can he seek redemption and become a better person? Let's find out in Hummingbird. Hummingbird begins with a Hummingbird drone hovering over a city in Afghanistan. Through the drone, the American military forces inside the tank were seen receiving an attack that ended up killing them. After that, a Marine named Joseph Smith was seen shooting indiscriminately while holding a man hostage. Elsewhere, months later, British military radio reported that Joseph Smith had escaped from a local hospital. It was also reported that Joseph had a mental disorder due to the tragedy of the war he experienced in Afghanistan. Therefore, Joseph was put on the wanted list. One year later, Joseph Smith had changed his name to Joey Jones and was living a homeless life. One night, on a deserted street corner, two thugs are beating up the homeless, including Joey. One of Joey's homeless friends, Isabel, asked Joey not to fight back, but Joey disagreed with her. After telling Isabel to run, Joey tries to fight the two thugs. Unfortunately, Joey is still injured from wounds during the war in Afghanistan, making it difficult for him to fight his opponents. He ended up escaping to the roof of an apartment building. From there, he managed to get into an apartment by breaking into a window. Luckily, the apartment owner was not there. Joey then rested while drinking a bottle of liquor. He also took the time to take a shower and cut his hair after realizing how dirty and messy he looked. As if that wasn't enough, he also wore the apartment owner's clothes. As he was about to leave the apartment, he accidentally heard an answering machine, telling him that the owner of the apartment was abroad and would only return on October 1st. That means the apartment will be empty for the next eight months. Not only that, Joey also found apartment keys, car keys, letters scattered on the floor in front of the entrance, and even the apartment owner's credit card sent by the bank. Finally, Joey decided to stay there until the owner of the apartment came home. He didn't know that Isabel had been caught by one of the thugs who attacked him. Later that night, Joey used the landlord's credit card to get cash, and then he used the money to buy drinks and get drunk. When he was drunk, he sometimes recalled his memories of the war. After that, Joey went to see Christina, a nun who often distributed food to the homeless, to ask if she had seen Isabel. Christina replied that she had not seen Isabel in the past few days. Joey then left after giving enough cash to Christina. The next day, Christina makes a donation to the church from the money Joey gave her. Then she used the remaining money to buy a ticket for a ballet show that she had wanted to watch for a long time. Meanwhile, in his new apartment, Joey suddenly awakens from his sleep after dreaming back to the moments of the deaths of his fellow soldiers. Even today, his ribs still hurt from being hit by a gunshot. It turned out that the pain was getting worse, so Joey decided to ask Christina for help. Seeing Joey's condition, Christina advised Joey to go to the hospital. However, Joey refuses to do that because after all, he is a fugitive. In the end, Joey had to settle for a painkiller so the pain could lessen. After that, Joey searches for Isabel's whereabouts by distributing flyers around the homeless area. Until finally, news of the distribution of this brochure reached Isabel. Some time later, Isabel told Joey that she was fine. Now, Isabel was working with one of the thugs who attacked them the other day to raise money, so they could move out of the city. Joey himself began to be suspected by his neighbors who came knocking on his apartment door. Joey kindly opened the door and introduced himself as the lover of the owner of the apartment. Luckily, the neighbors believed Joey's bullshit. But in the end, Joey came to his senses. He no longer wants to harm the owner of the apartment, so he started working at a Chinese restaurant to make a living. Day after day, Joey worked very diligently at the place, until one night, his boss asked him to kick out customers who refused to leave when the restaurant was about to close. A fight ensued, in which Joey came out victorious. Joey's fighting skills can even amaze restaurant owners. He then introduced Joey to a Chinese mafia named Mr. Choi, who happened to be looking for a driver. Since then, Joey changed jobs and became Mr. Choi's driver. Sometimes, while on duty, Joey goes to his daughter's school to see his ex-wife and daughter. However, he still didn't dare to meet them. It turns out that Joey's job is not only to be Mr. Choi's driver. Sometimes he was told to collect debts to other mafia, and Joey doesn't hesitate to beat his targets to make them pay their debts. By working for Mr. Choi, Joey earned quite a lot, but he never forgot his fellow homeless people. He often shares food for them through Christina. For the homeless, Joey is their hero. One day, Joey accidentally met his ex-wife at the convenience store. 
His ex-wife vents her anger towards Joey who looks like a rich man, while she and her daughter have been having financial difficulties since she left him. Joey gave quite a lot of money to his ex-wife before leaving the convenience store. One day, Joey sent many gift boxes and address to Christina. Joey also sent a message and asked Christina to have dinner with him. Christina complied with Joey's invitation and came in her uniform. But unexpectedly, she came only to tell Joey that Isabel had died, and her body was found by the police on the river bank. The news infuriated Joey so much that he kicked the table in front of him. After Joey restored his composure, Christina asked Joey to continue doing good deeds. The next day, Joey thinks of taking revenge for Isabel's death. Then he went to the two thugs who had attacked him. The two thugs were shocked by Joey's current appearance, but that didn't stop one of the thugs from pulling out a knife and threatening Joey. With only a spoon, Joey attacked them. He threw one of the thugs in the trash, then he threatened the other to give him information about Isabel's killer. Not knowing his name, the thug only told Joey the characteristics of the killer, a 30-year-old man who had a scar over his eye and worked as a drug dealer in the city. A few days later, Joey sent Christina a letter, asking her to meet. Unexpectedly, Christina came with the dress Joey gave. Joey then asked Christina's help to find information from the police about the characteristics of Isabel's killer. A few days later, London police managed to track down Joseph Smith, Akea Joey, via a hummingbird drone. They also learned that Joey is close to Christina. When the police came and questioned her, Christina lied by saying that she did not know a man named Joseph Smith or Joey. That night, after work, Christina was picked up and driven home by Joey. On the way, Christina tells about her childhood and why she became a nun. In the past, she had dreams of becoming a ballet dancer, and even she has been studying ballet since she was 10 years old. However, a tragic fate happened to her because she was sexually abused by her ballet instructor several times, until she finally had the courage to fight and kill her ballet instructor. Being a minor, she was not imprisoned, but sent to a convent. Joey was silent after knowing the story of Christina's past. The next day, Joey accompanied by his employer, came to the office of Madame Choi, who was Mr. Choi's boss. There, he asked about the characteristics of the person who had killed Isabel. Madame Choi knows who Joey is referring to, but if Joey wants to know the identity of the killer, he must take a truckload of women to be smuggled into the UK. While checking the load of the truck, he saw hands coming out, calling for help, and one of those hands was a child's. Reluctantly, Joey drove the truck to its destination. After that, he got information that the person he was looking for was named Max Forrester. The next day, on October 1st, Joey asked Christina to take a picture of him wearing a formal suit to send to his daughter, so that his daughter thought that Joey was a good person. After that, they ate at a restaurant, where Christina then said goodbye to Joey because tomorrow she would be transferred to Africa. However, before she leaves, Christina wants to ask Joey to go out with her. Without further ado, they went to the apartment where Joey was staying. Unfortunately, this is the day the owner of the apartment returns. When trying to open the apartment door, the apartment owner was surprised because the door was locked from the inside. From behind the mailbox, he could see a woman and a man he didn't know coming out of his apartment window. After successfully getting out of the apartment, Joey invites Christina to live with him. However, Christina, who was determined to go to Africa, only advised Joey to continue to do good. After that, Christina invites Joey to go see a ballet show. That night, instead, Joey went to his ex-wife's place. When he knocked on the door, it was his daughter who opened the door. He then gave an envelope and a lot of money to his daughter and asked her to hold his hand as a sign to say goodbye. When his ex-wife shows up, Joey says goodbye and asks his daughter to continue being a good person. After that, Joey visits a rooftop cocktail party to find Isabel's killer. Based on the information obtained, the killer was present at the party. Sure enough, not long after, he saw Max, a man who had exactly the same features as the killers. Without thinking, Joey immediately attacked Max and threw him from the roof of the building. After that, he managed to escape, but his whereabouts was caught by a hummingbird drone flying in the area. By midnight, Christina had finished watching the ballet. As she was walking out, she accidentally saw Joey lying on the street drunk. Christina rushed to wake him and led him to the side of the road, where Joey then told Christina about his bad experience and why the police and soldiers always came looking for him. That's because when he served in the war in Afghanistan, his five friends were killed by the enemy in front of his eyes. Not accepting the death of his friends, Joey then slaughtered his enemies. The next day, when Christina is about to go to Africa, she gets a letter from Joey who intends to eradicate all evil in the city. In fact, he has also reported to the police about anyone who has been involved in trafficking in women. Not only that, he also sent replacement money to the owner of the apartment he had lived in for eight months. Joey had also given money to the person who would take care of the homeless. 
he would try to be a good person and go back to the streets and disappear. At the end of the film, Joey's whereabouts were detected again by the Hummingbird drone. The message from this film is, sometimes, we are in a wrong place and in a wrong time without us knowing it. However, life must go on, and how we will live that life is our own choice. But remember, all choices bring consequences that we must face someday.